Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're given the graph of the function f, and we're asked to draw the graphs of the following functions. So a through f, we have various transformations that we have to apply to the functions to get them. So first we're going to write what these transformations actually are. So we're subtracting 8, so that's a horizontal shift. It's subtraction, so it's to the right, 8 units. B, we are multiplying by negative 1. It's being done outside of the function, so that is reflecting over the x-axis. C, we're doing the same thing, reflecting over the x-axis. And then we are adding 2. The addition is being done outside, so it's up 2 units. Here we are multiplying by 1 half, so that is a vertical, since it's being done outside of the function, shrink by a factor of 2. And then we subtract 1, so we're going down 1 unit. In E, we're taking the inverse of the function. So we reflect over the line y equals x. And in f, we take the inverse of the function where we have um, also shifted to the left three units. So we're gonna do these, and you're going to start with um, y equals f of x minus 8, which means we have to shift to the right 8 units. So I'm actually going to do that one on this main page because for some reason they've given us this tiny graph and then asked us to move 8 units to the right. So it's going to get messy quickly, but we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is the starting point, and then the regular shape of the function continues sort of running out of space, so it's not perfect, but that's basically what happens. So this is A. B, we're asked to reflect over the x-axis. Again, we don't have the space for this, so I don't know why they gave us these tiny graphs, but we take the x-axis and we basically say we have to have a mirror image of it. Going into the next graph, that's okay, but it reflects. Next, we have to reflect over the x-axis, which we've done, and then move up two units. So we take this graph that we have, and we move it up two units. So this point, negative 4, 0, becomes negative 4, 2. Then we have that same curve down. And then over to the right, 3, down 1. That's that graph vertically shrinking by a factor of 2, and then moving down one unit. So we have an intermediate step here, where, okay, this point isn't changed because it's at 0, so 0 divided by 2 is 0. 3 divided by 2 is 1 half, so that becomes like that, and 4 divided by 2 becomes 2. So that's the graph vertically shrunk by a factor of 2. And then it goes down one, so this point moves down one, this point moves down one, this point moves down one. And we have a function that looks like that, and we can e erase the intermediate function. Next, we are told to reflect over the line y equals x. So I'm gonna ignore this one because this is sort of bleeding over into it. But what we can do is take the line y equals x, right here and have a reflection over it. And it's not perfect, but the basic idea is that you have to match what you're doing in an opposite direction so that it's a mirror image over the line y equals x. So it might be a little bit um, difficult at first to see, okay, if I'm going three units to the left and one down, here I have to go three units down and one to the left. It might be hard to visualize that at first, but when you do it right, you get the perfect visualization of the reflection. And finally, in F, we have to go left three units and then reflect over the line. 
So here we still have the line y equals x, but we've moved it three units to the left. So again, this is going to be an intermediate function, right? Where this point moves here, this point moves one, two, three. Again, this is going off into the other graph, but that's okay. And then this point gets moved three over here, so it looks like that. So now we're also reflecting it, and it's going to look somewhat similar, but it's so much further away from the rest of the graph, or sorry, from the line. So here, this is four units to the left, so this is four units um, down. Sorry. Then we go three units to the left, one down. So we go three units down, one to the left. And then we do this general shape where it goes closer and then further away from the line. And erasing the intermediate function once again, this gives us the final graph of f. So these are the graphs. It's a little bit weird again because they didn't give us the proper space to graph them but hopefully this is very clear of how these transformations actually apply to the functions. And we also have, this is B, C, D, E, F, and A.